Hi, one of the most important principles of animation is overlapping, yet many beginner motion designers can't get it right, which is why their animations often end up not looking very appealing and realistic. So in this video I'll show you how to apply it like a pro, making your animation look smooth. Before that, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. Ok, let's go to the tutorial. As you can see, I've already animated various parts of the scene, and in this tutorial, I'll focus on animating the chain and logo to ensure the overlapping is executed professionally. First thing first, I parent the logo layer to the chain one. So whenever the chain moves, the logo moves along as well. Ok, let's work on animating the chain. I open its rotation and rotate it to the right and set it to minus 10. On the first second, I rotate it to the left and set it to 10. And in the second too, I copy and paste the initial keyframe so I have a complete perfect loop. Let's see the results. To make the animation smoother, I make all the keyframes easy. Looks much better. Now let's work on animating the logo. I make the rotation visible. In the beginning when the chain is on the right, the logo should rotate even more to the right. So I set it to minus 14. And on the first second when the chain is on the left, the logo should also rotate even more. I think this much should be enough. I copy and paste the initial keyframe in the second too. Then I make the keyframes easy. -ease. Let's check out the results. It's good. Many beginners even come this far, but their work gets better if they do some overlapping. Alright, so to do overlapping, I select the keyframes of the logo and I move them to the right slightly. So the animation of the logo is somewhat delayed compared to the chain. After doing this, the animation looks jagged. To fix that, I have to loop the logo animation. I alt click on the stopwatch of the rotation of the logo so the expression would be enabled. I go over the property section and select loop in because I want the animation to be looped before the keyframes. And if I want it to be looped after the keyframes, I have to use loop out. Now let's check out the results. As you can see the animation now loops smoothly without the jagged motion it had before. However, the chain's movement still looks too artificial. To improve it, I use the CC bend effect. Once I added the bend effect to it, I duplicate the chain layer. I hit U so I can see the keyframes. Delete the rotation keyframes and set the rotation to 0. Then I set the start and end values. I set the start here. And the end over here. Now let's see how it works. After that I create a keyframe for its bend. Then I bend it towards the right so the chain attaches to the logo. After that, on the first second, I move the chain to the left so it's connected to the logo. On second 2, I copy and paste the initial keyframe. Then I make them easy ease. Then I hide the previous chain so it wouldn't be visible. Now as you can see, the animation appears more natural. If you're interested in learning more motion graphic techniques, don't miss out on this playlist. Thanks for sticking around.